Well, the idea behind equalizing anchors is very simple. Sometimes you, you approach the cliff and let's say the tree that you uh, would normally rely on because it's you know, nice and strong is very far away. Or in this case, I have here a lot of smaller you know, cracks and, and, and different things that I can use, uh, but I would never rely on just one by itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a system that will split the load equally on the various points that we're going to attach to. Okay? Now, there are different pieces of kit that you can use, like you can use straps, you can use uh, just small pieces of uh, rope, uh, you can even use uh, Pro 6. And the general rule with the anchor points on how many you need, um, if, you, if you're going to use straps, you need a minimum of two. Uh, and if you're going to be using Pro 6, only Pro 6, and you want at least four. Okay, because uh, while the straps hold uh, 22 kn, which is uh, roughly 2,200 kilos or 4,400 pounds, um, Pro 6 only holds about 500 kilos, uh, which is around 1,000 uh, pounds. Again, these numbers are uh, uh, maximum points, meaning if you manage to get this to 500 kilos, it would, it would give. Okay? So it would make sense that you would just that you would double, uh, because you want to reach at the end more or less what the straps will get you. So what you can do is uh, you can grab you know whatever kit you have, and uh, you know since this is a short one, I'm going to grab a Prusik. Uh, but we're actually what we're going to do is I'm going to use um, a strap here and just feed it through. Uh, and also, if you guys can get a hold of one of these things. Uh, they're really good for, you know, just getting those hard to reach straps where normally your fingers wouldn't fit. And it's good for just, you know, cleaning out all the, the garbage that there is in here. See that? Like that snail. And you're just going to take your, uh, your strap and you're going to feed it through. Okay, and that's one point. And then you're going to grab a carabiner. And remember, you guys always want the carabiner facing uh, the bigger end, facing towards the cliff and up. Okay, you don't want it down because um, you don't want the, the gate rubbing on anything. So, having to face out, and remember, you guys always got to lock your carabiners. Okay? Now, that by itself isn't very strong. Uh, it probably would hold your weight, but um, in repelling, you know, you only get it wrong once. So, uh, we're going to double that. Okay, so we're going to look for another good, uh, good attachment point. All right, we'll take a look around uh, what's near. I found this one here. It's kind of far away from um, our other anchor point, and which is a problem, but we're going to fix that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take just a piece of rope, okay, and feed it through. Tie your bow line to it, and you want to lock it off. Okay, now we have our two anchor points both of them are either with a strap or a rope they're both uh, adequately strong now we need to make a system that will equalize the pressure on both anchors okay so first of all what we need to do is we need to make a loop terminal on this side so that we can connect something to it just you know throw a figure eight loop okay now what we're going to do to equalize we're going to take a strap, we're going to connect it to our first anchor point through the carabiner. Make sure it's locked. And then we are going to attach a carabiner to this end. 
connect our strap to this. Make sure it's again locked off. All right, now this is the part where we equalize. Pay attention. Um, if you notice, if I put a carabiner here, if I'm pulling in this direction, right now both of them are at the same tension. Uh, what happens is if you don't use an equalized anchor, uh, so most sometimes it's okay to do that. Uh, that's when you know where your your repelling direction is. Uh, but sometimes you know you have to move to the left or to the right. So so if you were using a non-equalized anchor and then you decided to shift, let's say to the right. So on a non-equalized anchor, if this was let's say tight here, and then I went left, I mean right. See what happens? This anchor has just become obsolete, useless. Okay. So the point again of the equalized anchor is that I can pull this in all directions and it always maintains equal pressure. Uh, what I mean by equal pressure, it depends on the angle of how, how far apart the anchors are. Um, anything over a 60 degree angle, you're still going to start putting more pressure on the, on the, on the anchor points. Uh, and the wider you go, you get the, the zip line effect where you, end up, you can even end up putting more weight more than 100% weight on each anchor, the wider that the, the angle gets. So you want to maintain the angle as small as possible. Um, so what we're going to do to finish this off is we're going to you're going to take the uh, the strap here and you're going to make a twist on one side, and then you're going to connect your carabiner in there, and through both both straps. Okay. Uh, just the point of that point of that um, twist is that let's say you know one anchor gives. So watch what happens. Let's say this were to give. So that it's caught on right away by the other anchor. Okay. So that is how you equalize with two anchor points. Again, you want to use only straps or ropes if you're only going to use two points. And again, when you make sure, you got to make sure that uh, the rock that or the tree that you're using is solid and alive. Uh, if it's a tree, um, you know, there's a lot of rock around us that's. Uh, you know, hollow, so just, you gotta tap it, make sure that it's good. And now I'm gonna show you how to equalize with three anchors. Okay, so I've added my third anchor point. Uh, I've used a strap here. I'm just gonna put this back on the other one. Okay, so now we need to uh, equalize these three anchors. It's a little trickier, but it's the same concept. You grab your strap. You want they usually you want these straps to be a little longer. The one that's going to equalize uh, the anchors. And again, you're going to feed it through all the carabiners. Make sure they're all closed. Okay. And essentially, we have. Okay. So now here comes the tricky part. How do you equalize these three? So what you want to do is you want to grab the rope that's between these two anchors, twist that, and bring it here towards your finger, just like you would with the regular two anchor uh, equalization. And then you do the same for the other side. You, you bring that in as well. You twist that. Now the problem is that you see that this strap is not long enough. I have too much slack here. So what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to shorten this one. This end, so that I can use this strap here. Okay. Again, I'm going to grab this end, twist it. I'm going to grab that end, twist it. Then I'm going to put a carabiner on that. Same principles work, except now you have three anchors. So this could be used when you have, you know, really cruddy anchors. Uh, let's say you have flaky rock or you have um, uh, prusik, right? So if you're going to do it with a prusik, uh, you would add one more, and, and it would be the same idea. All right, and that's how you equalize your anchors. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful, uh, please subscribe and don't forget to check out some of our other videos. 
Uh, we're doing our best to uh, keep the videos coming in every week. Uh, but again, please subscribe, check out the rest of our channel. Um, we'll catch you next time. Peace out.